In this Maya 3D modeling tutorial, I'm going to show you how to quickly model a coffee cup using polygon primitives. First, I'll select a polygon cylinder primitive from the modeling tool shelf. Then I'm going to edit its properties. I can do that by going to the attribute editor and then selecting polycylinder one. Here, I can change the radius to four centimeters and I can change the height to 10 centimeters. For the subdivisions on the axis, I'm gonna change this to 12 because we can smooth it more later. We want this to be a multiple of four so we can add quads to the base. The subdivision height, I'll leave this at five. And then for the subdivision caps, I don't want any caps, so I'll make that zero. And that just deletes all those. Then on P cylinder one, the very first tab, let's translate it up five, and that'll put it on the ground. Now right click to go to face mode. Select the top face and delete it. Orbit around to look at the bottom face. You can hide the grid temporarily by clicking this button in your panel. Select this face, then press Control E or Command E to extrude. Select any of the scale icons on any axis. Then you have a universal scale in the middle. Bring the edge in. Press G to extrude again. Click the scale control on any axis, then scale in. Then hold shift and right click to get the multi-cut tool. We need to make quads out of this. The easiest way to do that is to draw a line in the middle and then connect the perpendicular lines. Sometimes it's hard to select a vertex, so if you click and hold on an edge and drag to that vertex, it'll automatically select it. And then remember to right click to accept. So again, I'm going to drag to the vertex, drag to the vertex, right click to accept, drag to the vertex, drag to the vertex, right click to accept, drag to the vertex, drag to the vertex, right click to accept, and then we have quads on all of these pieces. Press Q to deselect the multi-cut tool. Now I'm going to rotate around and look at this object. Next, we can smooth this whole object by right clicking and going to object mode, then clicking smooth. Now we want to make it have some thickness. To do that, we can press Control E or Command E to extrude. And this time on the thickness, we're just gonna type 0.3. Now we have some thickness to our object. And as you can see, our bottom is filled with quads, so it's easy to manipulate. Press Q to deselect. If we press three to smooth, notice that the top of our cup gets very sharp. We can stop that by adding some edge loops. So press one again, then hold shift and right click to get the multi-cut tool. Hold control and you can insert edge loops very quick. Press Q to deselect the multi-cut tool and then orbit to the bottom of the cup. Coffee cups aren't perfectly flat on the bottom, so we want to raise this up. Hold the tab key and paint a selection down here. And then we can hold shift period to grow our selection. We just need to select a few more places so we can hold tab and paint in these places. Once I have this section of faces selected, I can press Control E or Command E to extrude. And this time I'm going to go up in this direction, in the Z direction. And we know that our wall thickness is 0.3. So let's just go up negative 0.1. So just a little bit. So in some ways this is going up a millimeter. And then we have that extruded there. So I'll press Q to deselect, and then I need to add an edge loop to the bottom of this cup, because if I press three now, it gets a little strange and rounded. So press one, and then hold shift and right click to get the multi-cut tool, and then hold control, and I can add an edge loop here, one here, and one here. Now if I press three, this looks more like a cup with a recessed bottom and a foot. So I'm gonna press one again to go back to the polygon mode, Press Q to deselect the multi-cut tool, and I'm gonna show the grid again. Now what we need to do is add a handle. It's easiest to add a handle if we do it on a grid line like this, so I'm going to do that. What I wanna do is shift select four squares at the top, and then shift select four squares on the bottom. And then notice how this axis, the Z axis, goes right through the middle. If I hold shift and right click, then I can circularize my components. They'll come in a little twisted, so we can use this twist command to just kind of even them out. About 2.2 at this size works, but your model may be different. And then if you notice when I rotate that it looks a little dented. So what we need to do is change the alignment to surface average. That will keep it having the curve of the cup. 
and then we need to delete them. Make sure you don't select any faces in the back. After this, right click to go to edge mode, then double click the top edge loop of this handle part. We'll press Control E or Command E to extrude, click one of these handle components, and then we can scale in. Then double click to select this edge loop, press Control E or Command E, select one of the control points. Now I can scale from the middle and then scale that in. Press Q to deselect. And now I can double click these and scale them to the size that I want a little bit more easy by pressing the R key and I can scale from the center and bring these in. I can double click this one and scale it in. And then you can make these the size that you want for your coffee cup handles. Next, press Q and I want to double click this edge loop, hold shift and double click this edge loop. We want to make a handle. We can do that very simply by going to edit mesh bridge and then make sure you click on the box. If your tool is not reset, you can go edit, reset settings. We wanna make sure we pick smooth path plus curve. We also want to pick custom so they both go out. And then we can decide how many divisions we want. I'm gonna select 10 divisions and then click bridge. So now we see that we have a handle coming out of our coffee cup, but if you notice, it's very shallow. So how can we edit that? Well, let's look over at the poly cylinder. Notice that now it has a child of curve one. I'm gonna press Q to deselect. And then if I go to object mode and I press four for X-ray, you can see that there's a curve on the inside. So if I select this curve, suddenly we can see this curve. Now I can right click, go to control vertex. And if I select these points and press W, I can move them around and notice how it changes the shape of my handle. I can have this be any shape that I want. So then edit the handles for how you want it to be for your coffee cup. There's one other thing that we can do before we're done with this cup. I'm going to press five to go back to shaded mode. If I select this object, notice that we still have our history. Normally we want to delete our history when we're done, but while we're editing, it can be very helpful. So if I select poly bridge edge one, notice that there's a taper command. So now I can decide if I want to taper it out like this or more likely taper it in just a little bit. And you can see how that makes just a nicer coffee handle curve. Now I can hold shift and right click and go to multi-cut tool. Remember I hold control to add in edge loops. I'll put an edge loop here and an edge loop here. So if I press three, this looks pretty good smooth, but I want it to be smooth all the time. So I'll press one, right click to go to object mode. Press Q, then we can click smooth just one time. Off click, now we have a nice coffee cup that has a quads on the bottom and everything looks really nice. I'm going to click the front camera, then middle mouse button, drag it in. I'm in object mode right now and I wanna press the W key. Right now the pivot point is in the middle. I'm going to press and hold the D and V key, dog and violin, and then I'm gonna drag down to the very bottom. If I zoom in, I want to make sure I drag all the way down to that bottom vertex. Then if I hold the X key, I can snap to the grid, and now I know I'm right on the bottom of the grid. Next, I can go to Edit, Delete by Type, History, and then I can go Modify, Freeze Transformations. Hold the middle mouse button to drag the perspective view back in, orbit around, and now we have a nice coffee cup. I'm going to right click on it and assign a new material. I'm going to assign an Arnold standard surface, then select the presets, ceramic, replace. And now I'm ready to save this coffee cup for import into any scene that I want. Hopefully this shows you how you can use the bridge command, plus make quad surfaces on your cylinders when you need to. Happy 3D modeling.